Hello, welcome back to Georgie B's Cards and Stuff. Um, today I'd like to show you how I made this card. I made this card using an old stamp set and a new stamp set. And they are Hey Chick, which I'm going to be using this image, and Hey Birthday Chick, and I'm going to be using this image. Also the confetti and the happy birthday. I'm also using for the little balloon uh, this approaching perfection which is the celebration stamp set and we're just going to use that balloon. So there are the three stamp sets. The cards I've got I've got a card blank of what's this called? Um, Hang on, I've got to find out the new name for that. Oh, thick basic white cardstock. Yes, I did get some stamping up white cardstock. Um, the thick basic white. So I've got that at eight and a quarter by five and seven eight, scored up four and one eight, folded in half. I've got a little crease in it. I've got a piece at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths for the inside, and I have a piece of cinnamon cider. Is that what it's called? Yeah, cinnamon cider at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. A piece of white at five and a half by three and three quarters, and a piece of the plaid paper that we had at five and three eighths by three and five eighths and that goes on top there I've also cut out a piece the largest square from stitch so sweetly dies and I've cut that largest one out and I've got a scrap of card to do the happy birthday which we will cut out with the smallest one so I've used the largest and the smallest of the stitch so sweetly dies I'll just put that up there ready to use so let's get started I need this I don't need them and I'll put that over there so I can see what I'm doing. Oh, and inside I've just stamped wishing you the most beautiful day. So, for this we're going to use Memento Black Ink. You also need some masks. And I have got two already cut out, obviously, because I made the first card. And this is just masking paper. Uh, yeah, so we'll stamp the chick eating the cake first. Because we want that in the front. So I'm going to stamp that and we're going to stamp it just about here. Oh, hang on. Yeah. And we're going to stamp that just about there. Fits in this square quite nicely. Like that. And then we get the old chick. No, we're going to put this on first. Put the mask on. Covering up the... Cake. I got the old chick, and we're going to stamp this so his feet come out here under this chick's head. So And 
if we just lift that off. You can see the chicks behind it. Behind this chick. Right, we need to put these back on. Because we need to do some um, putting a colour on the background. So, put this one back on. There we are, a bit fiddly. As long as his body's covered up, because we need his body to stay white. Right. Now, with my brushes... Oh, I got some new brushes for my birthday. You haven't seen them yet. I got a box. I made the box. And I have got loads of brushes. All different colours. And I've actually put names on them of the colours that we use each brush for. So this one is for Purple po purple, purple Posy, Gorgeous Grape and Highland Heather. And that's what I'll use that one for. Right, this one here is for Melon Mambo. And this one here is for Old Olive, Garden Green and Mossy Meadow. This one is for Real Red, Pop Parade, Mary Marlot and Jerry Cobbler. And this one's for Night and Navy, Misty Moonlight and Pacific Point. So you have got some seaside spray in blue, balmy blue. That's a small, I've got two sizes by the way. I've got ten of the big ones and ten of the small ones. They were all in my birthday box. So I need crumb cake, that's the one I've got out. They do fit in here, just the way I've picked them up and put in. So I needed a smaller box because I haven't got room for it. Right, with a scrap of paper. And this and my I'm going to put crumb cake on the other one I put blushing bride but this one I'm going to put crumb cake these have got quite firm they're not so flexy as the brown ones that are out I'm just going lightly all over the chickens. I don't want the whole paper to be covered. I just want round the chickens to be have a bit of colour behind them. Right, I think that'll do. Right, there's another cut out between this chicken's leg, so I'm just gonna add some There. Not worried about getting it on his legs because I'm going to colour him in. Right, that should do. Right. Next, I've got some Highland Heather here. And 
with the confetti stamp. Oh no, I forgot about the balloon. Do that first. And this balloon, I'm going to come off his tail and stamp it down like that. So he's got it in his hand, so he'll have it in his hand on the other side. And then with this, we're just going to go round them with some confetti. That's it. Nothing much. And we can take these masks off. All we've got to do now is colour in the... Let me get rid of that. Put that there. Um, chicks. Right, I've got... What colour have I got here? Light cruise, great, you don't want that. I want pumpkin pie. Nope. Ah, pumpkin pie, light. Oh no. That's right, I couldn't use this. Look at this. Never used light pumpkin pie. I can't get the nib off. Or the lid off. Oh. Must have used dark. Right, I'm just gonna colour his feet or their feet. Oh, and their beaks. I'm still with pumpkin pie. I'm just going to put some strokes on their hair and tails. Not colouring them in completely. I just want to do a two-tone effect. And I've got some cinnamon cider and I'm going to colour in the rest of the tail and the head. This one's a dark one. Right, and then I'll get crumb cake, dark, and finish them off.
scruffy looking chickens. Right, I have got smoky slate here and all I'm doing is going around the underneath the chicken and just round the top of where the shading blue. That was Seaside Spray I picked up. Never mind. Still looks nice. Alright. Colour in the cupcake. And I've got daffodils of light dark here. Um, I'm going to do a nice pink balloon on this one. So I have got light melon mambo. And I need to go around the ice cream. Like that. And that is our chicks coloured in. Alright, the next bit we've got to do is the sentiment and we've got to cut that out. So I've got my Versafine and I've got my sentiment and oh no over stamped it or wobbled it. Better. So get rid of that, bring this in and it should fit in there lovely like it does. And I don't have any tape left on there. Let me go and get some tape. Must have thrown it away when I used it last. Right. Put that on there. Run this through my sidekick. And there we have our sentiment. I'll pop this away before I lose it. And now we can put our card together. So bring in all the bits, get my glue, and we're going to glue. The paper to the white card. Leaving a small border. Like we do. And then we're going to glue this to the cinnamon cider. Forgot the colour of it then. Right, 
and then this to our card base. I wouldn't have got this, um, what's it called, basic white, because I can't, the only reason I got it is because I can't get to go to the shops with my shielding to go and get some of my normal card bases. But I will say I quite like it. Right, we're going to put the top pot on. Um, dimensionals, so one in each corner and two in the middle. Place that in the middle of the card. Like so. Nope, it's too high. I need to bring it down a bit. Because we want to put that up there. Now I like it hanging off. Right, so with that, I put a small one in the middle there and one at the end at the top. That's it, like that. And then I glued this bit. Oh, I also put one. Yeah. Put them back in and find me stamp for the middle. And just stamp the middle of the card. Side. And that is our card done. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you'd like to leave a comment and a thumbs up, you can share it as well if you want. All I say is I hope you enjoy it. Right. I'd like to thank you for watching and I hope to see you again soon.